In this section, we will discuss how to bring up the implant library via the use of the implant editor icon. Notice this icon is a shortcut. This will be a icon you'll note on your console PC. So when you click this icon, you're going to get the implant editor. And in the implant editor, we can register shapes. Uh, here you'll see some shapes from Nobel have already been registered here and we can delete these if we don't use these or we can add as we've done down here so you have that ability uh, to um, add or remove in your implant library now remember these are just shapes they're not the real implants like you would see with the uh, grooves and the threading so it's just a shape to substitute for just a straight linear line when you're doing your measurements so these are shapes that will correspond extremely close to your particular implants that you wish to register. Now, uh, here in this uh, library is the ability to create a new plant, new implant via the uh, registration um, function. So first what we need from your particular manufacturer, we need a file that will describe and that will uh, have the particular implants in their dimensions. Here for a moment, let me bring in a particular file that was uh, created and sent to us. And you can see this particular manufacturer has their occlusal diameter, apical diameter, length, and even collar built in to their measurements. And so we would scroll and we've got descriptions and color and then we can uh, register these in the implant library. So as long as you have these, uh, these numbers and dimensions in millimeters, um, we can add this to the implant library shapes. Now before we register a particular implant, just for practice, let's look at the dimensions. Let's start here with our little green figure in the upper right hand corner. Uh, we have three places for these columns, by the way. Uh, first of all, A. A represents the occlusal diameter. So here's the column occlusal diameter. And also here, here's the occlusal diameter here where you can register it. Okay. Uh, if we go down to the uh, next section, B, B would be the apical diameter. Okay. Apical diameter here. And it's located here with the letter B. C is the occlusal length. All right. Occlusal length here and here and D would be the apical length apical length here D and here and D now C and D represents the total length so we put this in the first column which makes sense so this is the total length and then we have our other uh, particular diameter so if you have a, a tapered uh, implant like you've got here then of course your uh, occlusal di diameter will be greater than your apical diameter so that just makes sense Now, even though you have an import icon, if your particular manufacturers send you the implants in XML format, then we could just simply import those to the library. But uh, discovery has shown that it's not the case, uh, that your implant manufacturers will not send you the library in XML type format. So you just have to create it. So here uh, we have a, a a couple of tatums from the previous file I showed you that you could input. You can also have just test ones, okay, if you just want ones that you know, uh, sizes that you wish to have, and uh, you don't even wish to name them from your manufacturer, you can do that too. So um, let's go with the process and show you how that's created. Okay now, so we hit new implant, and we fill in all these areas, see? Fill in the name, product type, model number, uh, filled in all the parameters, A through D, okay? And then uh, we can even change the color if we wish. By the way, you could just change the scale of size. That's what these two numbers are, 20 millimeters or 60 millimeters. These just make it look bigger, more magnified is what that really means. Color, you can change it. You can cl click on color and uh, you can pick another color that you uh, so desire and uh, just click on OK and so you have a, a brand new color and then you can click um, figure okay and then you can click register 
and then as you scroll down under test there is your new registration right there okay so for each uh, implant that you continue wanting to go down the list with different sizes just do the same thing hit new okay so if you do another one you would hit new and you would fill in all these parameters and then you would hit figure register and then the next one would appear alright so that's how you imp input your, your data from outside sources um, such as like this file or whatever file that you use uh, for your particular manufacturers. Now the export function is really I would suggest to use this after you create your file and uh, you want to save it as a as a backup let's say uh, you can click export and uh, you could name it and just tell it where you want to go and you have a file that would be uh, backed up in, it's got to be an XML format uh, and once it's backed up wherever you want to send it to whatever you want to name it then uh, you'll have that case uh, for some reason you uh, want to change this out or you lose the file you have a backup of your work that's what that's for now if you are having a more extensive implant library file and you just want to load a particular manufacturer or product here you can click uh, here I've just inputted NEOS and the product name and you can click these uh, and click update check the boxes hit update patient update list and then you're going to get the list of only the NEOS biomodal implants that are selected remember to get all the list uncheck the boxes and hit update list and then you'll get the full library or you just search by the particular manufacturer that you wish to load only by itself now any one of these could be deleted okay so you can uh, delete or you can edit now for edit and delete notice they are grayed out so if you wish to activate these just make sure you're not a new implant anymore come out of that and now they become active so let's say for mm, practice purposes we just want to delete the uh, uh, a particular implant let's just pick one of these test ones let's say sample three so I go to sample three and I can simply delete it and it will go from there I can also edit and uh, pick the particular implant click on edit you could change the color change to a different color if you wish uh, you could change the uh, size uh, let's just change the uh, apical diameter let's make it four and then we can hit figure okay and then we can hit register and then we have um, the same implant but we just change the parameters a little bit through the edit feature So really, it's a simple process to register your shapes. Just make sure from your specific implant manufacturers that you're getting the correct dimensions and that you're inputting the correct dimensions in this parameter. So that's very key. So just be cognizant of that. And then once you create your library for the first time, then you can use it from henceforth, or you can create a delete new ones, whatever you wish. Okay, so that about uh, that's about the end of the topic here for implant editor.